Did you need something from me? No, Divine One. Must I require something to remain near you? No, it's not that. I see. Then please, feel free to ignore me. I would, but... It's difficult to ignore the anger on your face. <sighs> the Kingdom of Illusia worships the Fell Dragon, doesn't it? If that's the case, I can certainly see why you would feel uncomfortable around me. You can't imagine how I feel. Well, if you can explain it, I'd love to understand. It might reduce this distance between us. True, but we should get used to each other first. We'll talk when we're more comfortable. For now, I will leave you be and worship from afar. Worship? I have returned. Hey, uh, Zephia. How'd the report to Lord Sombron go? Bet he was mad we lost the rings, huh? Very. <laughs> Knew it! So he's gonna punish us, right? Finally, yes. In fact, no. It was a scolding, nothing more. He impressed upon me the gravity of our role. That's all? <laughs> he must really love us! Feels good to be appreciated. Has Lady Vale woken up yet? No. That spell you keep casting on her. This is getting reckless. We should dispense with the magic for now. Allow her to return to normal. The spell will soon have a more stable effect. Lord Sombron gave me an enchanted helmet. What? For her to wear. A helmet imbued with his power that will amplify the spell I cast on her. Finally, I can erase the defect from existence. I intend to use it shortly. I would like to have some good news for my next meeting with Lord Sombron. Speaking of news, our warships ran into the Divine Dragon's forces. No luck stopping them. Sounds like they're sailing to Illusia as we speak. Huh. Moving faster than I expected. Yeah. Only a matter of time before they're knocking at our door. Oh! Want me to buy us some time? I can do it! Of course, dear. So good of you to volunteer. But I can't have you going all alone. Mavia, you'll accompany her, won't you? Very well. What? Why? I'd be fine on my own! You are good, of course. But you'd achieve even greater success with Mavia at your side. Well... Okay. 
all the more praise for me then, right? Zephia, I ask one thing. Wait to cast your spell on Vale again until we return. All right, Mavi. Then we depart. We'll be back before you know it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Marvir. He's way too attached to that other veil. Truly. But it doesn't matter at the moment. And won't as long as he stays in his place. The Four Hounds are my family. I will always love Marvir. Always. As long as he obeys. Now we have a serious matter to discuss. What Lady Vale said about having a sibling. Right, right. That Dragonstone of hers, something about it being whole, not broken. Yes, exactly. We need to look into that. The situation bears... examination. Here we are. Give report. I expected it to be better defended. We just sailed right in. Hmm. What's wrong? This is a port town. It's typically bustling with people. Why is it so quiet? I see someone over there. Maybe they can tell us. Divine One, wait, that's... <laughs> one of the corrupted. Yes. And surely not the only one here. You're right. They must have spread through the whole town, which means... I'm afraid so. Does the Fell Dragon mean to destroy Illusia too? But that makes no sense. All I know is we can't turn a blind eye. We've got to get rid of them. No. We move on. What? And abandon the people here? Princess Ivy, tell us what you want to do. We leave this place. But there are people in danger. We have a responsibility to help them. That's what we did at Flora, isn't it? We got there right after the attack. There were people to save. Look around. We're too late. Far too late. There aren't any survivors. <sighs> I would have wished nothing more than to help the people here. But with every passing moment, more lives may be lost elsewhere. We cannot waste our time on the dead. We must protect the living. This is terrible. I don't think I could abandon a town like this, but it's not my decision. You'd already recognize the choice Princess Ivy would make, Divine One? Impressive. Hmm. No, that was... Thank you for your support, Divine One. Now, to the castle. Aw, you're gonna cut and run just like that? Who's there? It's me, your old pal Marnie. Oh, and Mavier is here too. We meet again. I really wish you decided to stay and fight the Corrupted. It would have been so much easier. But the Divine Chicken's afraid of them. What, what, what? Isn't that right? The Divine Dragon was thinking only of what's best for everyone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just shut up, will ya? You're annoying me. You guessed right. The port fell a long time ago, but I won't let you just walk away. Wait, how's this for a deal? Drop your emblem rings, and you can go. I don't think so. I figured. Worth a shot, though, right? Well, time to fight, then. And don't worry, we brought lots and lots of the Corrupted, just for you. Tell me one thing first. Please, I need to know. What? Vale. Is she all right? Lady Vale, she... Shush, Marvier. We didn't come here to blab secrets. Afraid we can't answer that, Divine One. Our lips are sealed. Tell you what, when this is over, I'll whisper it into your dead little ears. How's that? We'd hope to learn whatever we could from the people of this town. But with no one left alive, we're glad to get the truth out of you, one way or another. Mavi, 
Javier, take. Zephia permitted us to use emblem rings? Nah, I just went ahead and borrowed a couple. You did what? Marnie, when this is discovered... I'll be what? Scolded? Punished? Please! We're Lord Sombron's favorites. Besides, if I capture even one more ring, imagine the praise I'll get. I'll be a hero! Even in that case, he will not forgive you. Ugh, skip the lecture, okay? Just put it on! If you ruin my chance to shine, I won't forgive you! Divine One, the flame cannons! With those, you can burn right through that miasma! Why the Divine Dragon dock here? The place is infested. Guess I've got no choice but to cut my way through these moldering bastards. Let's go! Prince Diamant! Saphir? What are you doing here? Your letter said you were headed to Illusia. Figured you could use another soldier. Don't worry, the castle is safe and secure. But about King Morian... I'm sorry, Saphir. I should have protected him. <sighs> he was so sure he would return. He knew the risks. For whatever it's worth, I'm glad you're still above ground. Let's make sure that doesn't change anytime soon. Devoted to you. The Divine Dragon looked right at me. I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> kind of you. Let us begin. Hear it. Allow me. Good workout. Your steward's ready. Okay. As you wish. Yes? We fight for peace. If this love is a crime... Yes! It's a terrible state of affairs.
Here we go! I will protect you. Just getting started. I'll go first. <laughs> For King Morian. Allow me! <clears throat> this ends now. It is time to honor your contract.
Let us waste no time. I must return to Lady Vale. I've got a lot riding on this, so do me a favor and die quick. Don't stand in my way. Like that? If this love is a crime... I'll show you we mean business! Avalon Roy! Divine Dragon. I won't forget you. Let the lesson begin! Let me loose. Allow me. <coughs> no one's gonna miss you. I'll 
go first. your limits. Forgive me, Emblem. I know this imposes a burden upon you. Victory was mine.
You picked me! Allow me! Not over yet! <laughs> I've got this. Need help? Beaten by a bunch of weaklings. Oh no, this is bad, bad, bad. Right. Still kicking. I am the divine dragon. Alas. I failed. But at least now. Rings? They took the rings? Marnie, we must retreat. Now. I can't go back. I'm just gonna get an earful from Lord Sombron. Or worse, Zephyr. And after all your nonsense about being exempt from scolding. Now, let's hurry to Lady Vale. Wait, tell me. Is Vale all right? Lord Sombron has given Zephyr a new kind of magic to use on Lady Vale. If she does... The true Lady Vale will never awaken again. <gasps> the others think this is a happy outcome, but I... I have always worried for her safety. You really do want to protect her, don't you? I have said too much. Marnie, I am returning now, with or without you. You can't just leave me... Hey, wait up! <sighs> is it a good idea to just let them go? We took back the rings. Besides, I have a feeling that Vale is going to need him right at her side. Emblem Makaya? Emblem Roy? Oh, glad to finally have you back with us. I never lost faith that we would return to you. Thank you. On the shadowy moor and at Flora Port, it pained me to fight against you. I'm sorry for putting you through that. I promise to never let that happen again. I can't believe there are so many of the Corrupted in Illusia. The Fell Dragon is behind the rise of the Corrupted in this kingdom. Sovereign blood is no longer enough for him. He's abducting the people of Illusia. When Sombron drains them, they turn into the Corrupted. That's why they're everywhere. You mean the Corrupted we killed were... <sighs> Sol, Brodia, Firene. They'll all suffer if the Corrupted leave my kingdom. We must act now. If any of my people still remain, I must do all I can to save them. Those two came all the way here to stop us from reaching Illusia Castle. The Four Hounds must be desperate to keep us at bay. Let's find out why. Hey there. Right.
this. Where? Diamond! Help! Uh, thanks for the save, Diamond. Sorry to trouble you like that. No trouble at all. However, I must ask, how did that creature manage to overpower and frighten the Divine One? It came out of nowhere. I just started running. I'm uh, not really good with the Corrupted. Not good with them? You handle them in battle just fine. It's different on the battlefield. I can spot them first, then steal myself before engaging. That last corrupted soldier got the drop on me. My guard was down. I'm an easy target for them outside of battle. Hmm. I don't follow. Isn't there something that makes your skin crawl, Diamond? I suppose... Hairy caterpillars can have that sort of effect on me. Okay. Let's say you knew you were about to see a big caterpillar. You'd have a chance to prepare. Now imagine you're eating dinner at home and a caterpillar suddenly drops onto your plate. Hmm. Wouldn't that startle you? Wouldn't you cry out in surprise? I probably would. That's what sneak attacks from the corrupted feel like. Caterpillars dropping on my plate. I understand. Very clear explanation, Divine One. Well, that was a strange example, but I'm glad you followed it. Sorry you had to watch me struggle like that. How <laughs> unflattering. I wish I was flawless like you, Diamond. Flawless? Uh, hmm. <sighs> Thank you for sparring with me, Saphir. No problem. Always a pleasure to find an opponent who can help me work up a sweat. Glad to hear it, since I barely kept up. I see now why Brodia holds you in such high regard. Don't be too modest. You're good, and you've got lots of room to grow. Strength, skill, speed. You're full of potential. Keep training. You'll see. Maybe, but what I really envy is your intensity. The way you press the attack. It's relentless. Do you think I've got the potential to be as ferocious a fighter as you are? That's... Saphir? Ah, uh, sorry. Listen, you'd be better off not modeling your fighting style too much after mine. Ferocity doesn't suit you. You're too kind a person for it. Just be yourself and hang on tight to that kindness. Don't let it go. I understand, Saphir. Thank you. That's ten of you. Who's next? Very impressive, Saphir. Prince Diamond, didn't realize you were watching. Checking in on our soldiers is part of my job. Don't worry about me. I'm in prime condition. Built for battle. Ready anytime. I've seen enough to know that's not talk. I'm sure you can handle just about anything. Like, say, a sudden sparring match. Got time for a quick round? Sir, I... Couldn't possibly. Oh, sure you could. Don't tell me you're not up for it. 
I have a long way to go before I'll feel ready to take you on. When I'm truly satisfied, it'd be a privilege to spar with you. I see. And when do you think that will be? When I finally get past my hatred. What do you mean? The war with Illusia has been too bloody. I haven't been able to wipe away the stain on my memory. I want to put it behind me, but I need to be stronger than I am right now to do it. I see. Sorry, Saphir. I didn't mean to dredge up painful memories like that. Not at all. I'm honored by your invitation, and sorry to decline it. <laughs>